guys, this is Dave from Whitey's Wicked Workshop. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what I've been doing so far. Let's get started. Um, up here I did start uh, buttoning up the ceiling because there was all kinds of stuff hanging down low. Um, I did kind of clean up my HDMI cable for the camera. I did move it a little closer. Um, let's see, the camera used to be back here. And in order to get the right size that I wanted of the, of the screen, so I, I did go a little bit smaller, but, um, oh wow, that's kind of cool. I did go smaller with the TV, well, with the projector size, I mean on the wall uh, just because of uh, 90 my ceiling is gonna be 90 inches so I had to shrink it down and I didn't want to go too far down you know below waist level but yeah I did a lot of work up here just buttoning things up uh, so everything's not hanging down so I, I did button up that wall, pretty much, the whole thing. Uh, I guess this will be next. That I need to be my arches. But let me show you what it looks like with the lights off. And here we go. Yeah, I, I did the back lit, the back lit thing uh, to kind of make it like a frosty window. And, and I am going to do some type of framing around it, I think. I'm not sure because I mean on the spaceship you don't just walk up to it and see something like this. I mean, some type of frames, even if it's like just on the outsides, you know. Um, yeah, it's taken me a long time. Uh, I've been working, so I didn't really get to spend much time down here. I was working three weekends straight, uh, putting in a machine. So that really killed my basement time. So any of you guys who are looking forward to my videos, I hope it gives you a little explanation of what I finally got done this weekend. And yeah. So I did a little bit of work today. I did frame this out. Let's talk about it. It's gonna be a little shelf. Yeah, I started getting hoses and stuff. I had some old sump pump hoses that I wasn't using anymore. Yeah, just put them up there. It's probably gonna be uh, for wiring and all that stuff, and I'm just gonna put it in. Uh, make it look like it's a ship. So I still need to do trim and everything like that. But I did get some stuff done. I did clean up a lot. I clean up the whole area. I started putting this together just to kind of see what it would look like down here. And I am going to be doing, I'm working on something. I'm trying to make it look like grading, like Millennium Falcon grading. Then I need to cut it and do all that stuff. I was talking with uh, Rebel Base Build. He uses a laser for cutting all his foam, so asking him a lot of questions. He doesn't know if it'll hold together well, but he said try, so I'm gonna try. Probably without a laser, unless I could find the money, but this project is sucking it out of me. <laughs> so I wanted to show you that I did move the <laughs> The Whitey's workshop out here. Uh, started cleaning up some stuff, getting rid of junk drywall uh, because you never ever use it. <laughs> Hardly ever, except for the big sheets. And I plan on not using drywall for the rest of the walls down here. Um, just because, I don't know, I don't like working with drywall. It's crazy dusty. 
do like working with this wood and I need to get like a Star Wars uh, effect with greeblies and drywall would just be a pain. So I still, once I get my archers done, then I'll be able to button this up and do that thing wherever with my sliding whatever here. There's the sliding part, but I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't know. So, yeah. Just got up. Been working hard in the basement. Trying to make some videos for you guys. Look at those bags. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Guys, see you next time. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get the next video. See ya.